Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, your buddy John Megacycle here. Uh, this is the end, the summary video for the Witters Island Challenge Megacycle Entertainment Open TTD Tournament. Holy crap, I think I got everything. <laughs> um, we've been hosting these tournaments like once every, I'll just say like every other month, every six weeks, something like that. Like whenever I can get to it, work and life, schedule, busy blah 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 um anyway i'm really excited to tell you about this one this was a really interesting one this is the witters island challenge tournament and hosted by megacycle entertainment um as a little bit of a brief if you want to join these tournaments just join the discord join the discord uh in the description below and just say hey i want in on that um the way this handles is i create a server for every single player password protected and everything and everyone completes or competes, I should say, uh, on a similar challenge. So for this one, it's the Witter's Island Challenge. And I'm going to talk about it first before we really get started. So here's the description. It's a map with large islands, but none of the matching resources are on each individual island. So you have to boat or plane the resources around. I think you can restrict bridge length. So I'm just reading. This is the description as they wrote it. Um, there's a map like this in TTD with a big ring around a central island too far away from bridge so you had to boat or plane valuables from mines in the center to banks on the outside. The only problem was other industries would start spawning on the outside and it was better to just join them up instead. So um, that's the idea. So think of like somewhat like a, of a spread out uh, island chain, right? And then so one island's going to have A, B resources but not C to process them. The second island is going to have uh c processing and d e resources but not f to process but the first island will have i don't know i'm too i need more coffee is where we're at okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna pop into one of these that were not touched so server six was not touched we're just gonna jump right in i'm gonna show you the map we'll take a little bit of a looky loo around and everything and then we'll like jump in with somebody so this is the unfettered map, right? Um, yeah, so here we go. I'm going to turn on resources. Uh, this will give us, yeah, it's like I said, this is an unfettered look at how this works. We have resources, raw materials, on this island here. There we go. This island here. Can I get some music? Thanks, mate. Uh, on this island here, this island here, and the processing is here. So let's take oil, for example. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Hover over oil wells. You should see it all flashing on the screen, right? These are all the oil wells. But I'm going to hover over oil refinery. There's no refinery on this island, right? The only oil refinery is down here. Same thing with everything else. So the red are diamond mines. The only banks, I think. Hold on, I might be wrong. Yeah, the only banks are on this other island and this island here. So you can't just truck resources around. You got to really you got to really work for it. Um, as mentioned in the challenge, bridges are too short. You can't build them that far. Um, it's actually there's a new GRF we use that restricts bridge length. So that keeps that neat and tight as well. So um, this is really the brunt of it. So this is going to be the same normal stuff we do. Um, it's going to be best company value in 20 years. We actually started in 1990 this time. Uh, normally we start in 1980, which leads to 2000, which is just an even number. Um, I picked 1980 uh, when we started these tournaments just because I thought it was a fair amount of technology, but it wasn't like just monorail right away or maglev or whatever the crap it's called. So this was the idea. Uh, this was handcrafted by Witters. I think they did a wonderful job. Really cool. I really like this map. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go line by line and we're going to see how everyone did. The tournament's over. I already saved everything. It doesn't matter if I show the passwords, right? I don't think it, I don't think it matters if I show the passwords. Okay. First of all is uh, Zero Cyber Psycho. Let's see what they got. Okay, Psychotic Transport. Let's take a look at the map first. Oh, what? Oh, they did just build... <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god, they did just build rails anyway. Um This is this has to had to have been incredibly expensive. Um just for giggles. Um uh da -da 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 -da. I'm gonna abandon game. Just for giggles, I wanna show you something first. Uh we're gonna go back to that other server. I'm gonna show you how much it costs to move stuff. I, I don't wanna join the game. Here, I'll join this one. This one doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to, let's see here, landscaping, 44 million, right? So how, how much is this? Already flat. So they must have paid oodles and oodles and oodles of money. Man, I don't know how the heck they paid for that, but good on them. Uh, to give an idea, we're, we're talking... We're talking millions of millions of dollars. Man, that's crazy pants. Okay, I mean, good on them. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see how every player has handled this situation. We'll, so we'll see. Anyway, wow. Okay, back back to it. Uh, let's pop up in that map. So we have the lumber yards. Yep, the lumber yards or lumber mills or whatever they're called are definitely fan favorites for sure. Uh, yeah, that all connects out. Uh, we got some passenger work to start the game off, yeah. Um, there were only one or two really big cities, right? So it made, it made it really easy for, uh, passenger work. I don't think I'm gonna see a lot of deviation when it comes to passenger work. Um, but yeah, there's a few, there's a few options. So this is obviously goods coming from... Yep, yeah. okay. Cool, so let's take a bit of a broad, broad swath, 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 <laughs> swipe of the map. I'm also seeing airplanes, I think. So yep, factory drops off, brings back the goods. So what's curious is... Oh, the trains are just massive. Okay, that makes sense. Interesting. Is this two trains? No, it's one, it's one big train, it just looks really weird. Yeah, okay. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, so yeah, uh, woods to here, goods to out, and another train, yep. Very, very straightforward solution. Another passenger run. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any notes, really. This is very straightforward. Now, it's going to be ultimately up to Witters as to how the judging might work. I don't know. Uh, I'm taking it, as I said, company value. Um, but it did say, you know, try to... Well, it didn't It didn't say you had to use boats. Man, how did... How much... Okay, now I want to... I have so many questions. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at their thing. 91.6 mil. 6 mil. Very impressive. Yeah, three airports. Let's take a look at these planes, yo. Okay, these are passenger planes. Just by looking at them, I can tell. Group by shared orders. They actually made some money. Um, looks like three airports. Uh, I believe there's six. Uh, let's let's take a look at. Let's take a look at what they are, and then we can determine how much they would cost. And Cristobal, I saw one there, yeah. I think these are 600,000 a month. No, a year. Ooh, God, a month. <laughs> 600,000 a year. So based on this, the aircrafts are actually making, yeah, 2.5 mil. If we just said, okay, this is just upkeeping the craft. So this actually works out really well for aircraft. As long as they stay full, as long as they bring money. Yeah, that works out really smart. Let's do shared train orders. This should be probably really straightforward, right? Yep, this is all fruit or corn. Oh, food. Yep, <laughs> I mean food or corn. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Cyber Psycho absolutely dominated using rails this go-round for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Huh, I did not know you could, could join trains like that. Yeah, interesting. 
Wood from different places, yeah. So there's a loader station somewhere. Or a feeder, or whatever you want to really call it. That's really crafty. That's really, really smart. I like that. Um, this one's actually going to be a little faster for me to do any sort of, like, telling of any story, right? I mean, you can see everything that's going on. Um, everything connects. It shuffles down to a central point, which is here. I could tell. Yeah, the central point then shoves all the wood over to the other station. And then it gets its product. And yeah, this is all incredibly straightforward. Very well done. Nine, uh, 91? 91.6 million for Cyber Psycho. Very well done. There's that one song. Okay, I don't have any other notes. Uh, one more quick pass. Yeah, this might be a really, really quick review. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't have anything else. Uh, very straightforward. Very, very straightforward. All right, next one is Cinder Elm Creek. Boats are great. Boats are great. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's take a look at their winnings. 45 mil. Uh, 45.4 M. Good stuff. Boats are great. Let's take a gander what they had going on. Okay. Oil. No passenger routes. Not on this island, anyway. Interesting. So that comes here, right? Yep, that's our drop-off. Good stuff. And then... Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Alright, so they got, they got some tracks. This drops off. This picks up. And then this probably goes all the way. We'll have to change our view over to the vehicles. Yeah. Wow, Cinder really did... Cinder did some very strong boat work. This is really impressive. Oh my god, so many boats. Yep. So, product comes here. Gets dropped off. Uh, trains pick it up. Trains shuffle it off. Yep. Very straightforward. I like it. Yeah. Is there like tons and tons of goods waiting? Nope. The station is for oh. Thanks, Witters and John. Ah, thanks, Cinder. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, this is like I said. There's not there's not a ton of things that uh, are done differently with this one because the only real place to get any of your goods manufactured and processed is on the other island, right? There isn't. I wasn't expecting to see a ton of interfed stations for example because of the nature of this like eventually it had to get to some centralized transit station um and then carried on boat or as we saw in cyber Psycho's playthrough by rail which is still pretty damn impressive yeah pretty simple straightforward stuff here and by simple i don't mean bad um this is this was a challenge that was everyone had to you know play play a certain way get the products to market right I'm amazed. I don't see any passenger routes. It's actually incredible that Cinder did this much money. Um, okay, so let's do a little bit of analysis here. These are all oil. What's this darker red? Maybe water? Oil... Oil, huh, okay. Not sure what that's all about, but that's okay. Uh, some trucks, okay, Some pa there are some passenger routes. Decent money, 2,500 off of a truck, or off of a... Boss, that's not bad. Yep, okay, so these, the, the biggest shared orders are right here. Yeah, lots and lots of boats. So let's see, how many boats total? 139 ships. I don't think I saw any ships for Cyber Psycho. So, 139 ships, that's kind of what I want to see. 
I'm almost expecting, honestly, to see, like, some player have, like, 800 ships or something. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything really else to discuss or describe here. Again, the real the real thing I'm noticing with Cinder Elm Creek has been the naval prowess, right? Boats for everything. And I definitely did not personally take this so far in my game. Uh, I did not use all the canals. Like, you just pick anywhere, right? Boom. Canal out. I'm digging that. That really, that really plays to the strength of the map. So, very impressive. Very impressive. Well done, Cinder. Oh, uh, we did... Nope, that's not what I wanted. 45.4 uh, mil and 139 ships? Nope. Um, 139. Just to mark that. 139. Okay. Good stuff. Next. Witters. Witters themselves. The map maker. Let's see how they did. They're a little farther ahead. Uh, 2011. Tamuko Transport. Uh, let's see here. What do they got for monies? 29.553. So what I'm gonna do, just rough mental math, how much did they make last year? Two mil. Let's put them at 27.5. 27.5 mil. Uh, 17 ships, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let's see what you've got going on here. Coro Docks, Coro Docks. Why are the same... Oh! Oh, okay. We got some refit action. Okay. Uh... Refit to wood. Refit to goods. Oh, that's brilliant! Oh, man. I wish I thought of that. That's really stupid, crazy, awesome smart. I want to go back and check and see if any of that was happening with the other... I don't think there I don't think there was. Um very creative though. So Sucre Forest and Coro Docks, very straightforward. Yep. This is just hauling wood through and through. Yeah. And copper ore? Oh, I guess it goes to the same spot. Doesn't really much matter, right? Let's go ahead and pop up in the big map. Let's see how much influence they had. They got a good start, yeah. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's water. Yeah, water to the town. Yep, that's fine. Um, and this is all... What is all this? Little passenger transit? Okay. Get a little money in there. I'm digging it. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, yeah, again, these are going to be very straightforward builds. We're taking products from A to B. And there's not a lot of variants that can be done about that. Sorry about that. I had to sneeze. Um, yeah. Oh, good stuff. Uh, how many boats? Thir 13? 17 ships? Uh, 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 seven. Okay. Good stuff. So this was Witters' run. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have any notes. Um, really good foundational stuff. The refitting is really, really cool. That's really all I gotta say about that. Um, let's see here. Actually, I think we only have four participants this time, now that I'm looking at the thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is my run. And that's gonna be it. So, John T. Megacycle Transport. Let's take a look at how well I did. 58.2 mil. Ba, 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 ba. And 195 ships. I went ham on the ships. I thought, I thought Cinder did better on the ships. I went friggin' ham bone on the ships. Um. So yeah, again, very straightforward here. Um. What I did is I wanted to really push the spirit of the map as far as I could. So I tried to transport as much stuff as I could. Uh, it, within the rules. So, like, I hooked up all the oil. Well, I did some passenger stuff first. 
So here we go. Yeah, real, real simple. Real simple passenger stuff just to get some money. Then some feeding into it. Then after a second passenger route for Temuco and Moranya? Moranya? Um, I started working on oil. So then oil was this. Got all the oil daisy chained all the way down here. Very similar to how uh, Witters set up theirs, I believe, or Cinder. Somebody set theirs up this way. <laughs> it's too early. I haven't had coffee. And then that is boated all the way over. I have a lot of boats. Don't judge. Over here to the Santa Cruz docks. And then I wanted to stay away from bridges as much as I could for any reasonable distance. If it was like, hey, I gotta get these people from here to here, fine. But like, any large landmass that was separated like this, I tried to keep it as bridge-free as possible. So that wasn't necessarily in the rules. Uh, bridges were more expensive as well, I think. Or no, just the bridge length was cut down. But yeah, that takes it to Santa Cruz Forest. And that brings it here to Barcelona to sell the goods. Real real simple stuff. And then I also did a similar thing. This is for food. So fruit and corn is being brought here and then dropped off. You can see everything. Here's my second island. Pretty straightforward, right? I didn't have to go very far because of how much volume everything was producing. And then the other thing... No, not 30 tons. There was some that were like 200. Yeah. 180, 190. Yeah, we were looking pretty good on that. Um, I didn't want to go too ham on these routes because these routes didn't really uh, money very well, I don't think. Um, let's see here. Shared orders. Yeah, some of this stuff just wasn't making any money. What even is this? Diamonds. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I do have some diamond routes, and those are just transportation. Uh, what am I thinking? Transfer. They're transfer boats. Uh, what are these? Corn. Yeah, I was making no money on corn. Uh, the routes were really difficult to make any decent amount of currency. Um, what's this one? Food? Yeah, I had a big problem with food. Are there only two tracks here? There. Whatever. <laughs> You're in that track over and over and over again. Um, let's see here. Routes. So originally, I brought food, uh, fruit and corn from here down to here, and then it was hauling it all the way up to Marquet. Now, that might be in someone's brain like, hey, that's a really long route. That's really cool. A lot of money. Uh, the problem is the way the, calcul the game calculates profit. It's how much are you carrying? How long did it take you to get here? Um, let's see. The cargo itself decays over time. Um, what else? How quick, how much, how far... Um, are usually the the core thing so the thing is I was going very far which is good but the problem is it was taking too long via boat so I was actually losing quite a bit of money getting over here so then what I did is I shifted the route to here and I was making actual money it was nice I was making actual coinage so that was cool aside from that yeah very very straightforward stuff um, as you can tell, I used boats for as much of it as I could. Um, yeah, this is all the diamond stuff you can see. Hauls here, and then I was just hauling it to the bank. That was making very little money as well. Unfrickin' fortunately. Uh, last year. Oh, actually, much better. I kind of ignored it because I was too busy tweaking other stuff, but that paid off pretty alright. So, that is my run. Did I jot down how much money I made? I did. I did. All right. Um, I don't have anything else to really add on this one. Like I said, because of the rules of the map and how everything had to be played out, there wasn't a ton of... Uh, variety's not the right word. Like, every every player had their own approach, as you could see. Um, but this was, you know, I don't have to go through, like, every, like, oh, man, how did this work? How did this work? How did this work? So this is a pretty, pretty simple one. We'll keep this one, we'll keep this one kind of light. Let's go ahead and get to the main menu. All right, that being said, let's talk about the winners. Uh, let's see here. Congratulations to Cyber Psycho. 
was 21.6 million USD in company value. Very impressive. John Megacycle, hey, how you doing? Takes second place at 58.2 million. Cinder Elm Creek at 45.4 million. Witters at 27.5 million. Awesome. As always, thank you all for participating and thank you all for watching as well. Uh, as I mentioned before, if you'd like to check out or participate in these tournaments, they're incredibly low key. They're a lot of fun. Uh, join the Discord in the description below. And yeah, that's it. So thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.